Hey guys, today we're talking about the offer rejection form. So let me just lay it out like this. I hate the offer rejection form. I think it's the stupidest thing we've ever come up with in real estate. It doesn't work. The whole idea behind it was that agents might not be presenting the offer contract. So if they're not presenting the offers as required by law, let's get them to sign this form saying that they presented it. I think agents that are willing to break the law and not present your offer are also the same agents who would sign the form saying they did. I don't think it stops or changes anything just because you make them sign a form saying they presented it doesn't mean they presented it. We have no idea whether they presented it. They just signed a form saying they did. I don't think that fixes or changes anything. With that being said, I think it's going to be a problem for y'all. Y'all are getting multiple offers, 10, 20, 30 offers at a time, and you aren't necessarily all sending back the offer rejection form. I get it. Too much time, too much effort. I get it. I understand why sellers agents don't want to deal with it, but I also understand that the market is extremely tight right now and you have buyers that are always upset and buyers agents that are upset every time they lose out on a house, feeling like their offer wasn't given valid opportunities. So if that happens, you're going to start seeing buyers and buyers agents filing grievances saying they don't think their offer was being submitted. So you better be covering yourself and submitting these offers. So what I've done today is I've done five ways that real estate agents screw up the offer rejection form. And this came from a broker's class I taught a couple of weeks ago. Byron King from the state association was in that class with us. And there were some good questions in this class. And there were two situations where there was examples. And one of them, I can tell you pretty much everybody got it wrong, except Byron and I think Bill Beckwith got it right too. But it was very difficult question about how many offer rejection forms you have to send out in this particular situation. So you need to listen to this podcast. I give you five ways that we screw this thing up. Please understand if we're not following the law on this, I can see grievances start happening. And if a grievance happens on you, there's nothing I can do to protect you because either you sent the form out or you didn't send the form out, send the form out. It's that simple. So take a listen to the podcast this week. I guarantee you'll learn something. Also, we have a really cool uh, episode on uh, what happened at while you were out showing. I think we have three examples there, including some crazy numbers on lumber and then Gary's good news only with some great COVID numbers that are coming in. So hope everybody enjoys it and I hope you all have a great weekend.